Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution here to discuss. Another tutorial on Microsoft Excel. And this is a pretty useful one that I uh, actually, actually found out a while ago when I was doing some calculations for my uh, masters. Basically, this is I'm going to go over the is error function and or this is error. So you just just think about it as two words: is error and then this bracket and then put a value in there. Uh, so this function marks up like Excel. I'm using 2000, uh, Excel 2007 but this should work on basically any other Microsoft Excel version. So uh, this is error value, all it does is basically for this one it just checks whether the value is an error and then it returns true or false or one or zero. One or, yeah, one is true, false is zero. You could either type this out or, or zero, et cetera, the same thing. And is error value, it's the same thing as this above except it excludes this error, this hashtag, and A are not available and returns true or false, etc. So basically the error values that there are are, are this one, uh, this hashtag NA, hashtag value, rev, divided by zero, number, uh, name, question mark, null, etc. I'm not gonna go over too much on what uh, these are, so you could probably just go in the reference, in the help reference of uh, Microsoft Excel to go over that. But basically, yeah, that's what it is. So I'll go an example right here. Yes, yeah, so I was basically set up this table to go, to uh, explain this is error and is error function. Is this can come out pretty uh, useful, and I'll show that in a bit with uh, this call, these two columns right here. But first of all, if you look at this column, uh, the, this yellow sign, I just make it uh, calculated. So these ones are just a random columns, column one. This one has some uh, some error values here and and just some random non error values like this two and a hundred. So if you go equals is error, and then uh, then you just click this value. So all it takes is one value. So this this cell, so this is true. So it re returns uh, true or one. It's the same thing, and false. It's not an error. So this is not an error error. So I, so all the trues are all the errors. But now if we go is error, because remember this one's ha hashtag and they are not available or not applicable, I'm not sure, but, but anyways, so let's go on this one, equals is error, and then click on this cell again, so false, so that's the only difference, uh, then you scroll down, and again, false, false is false, and then there's true for these two errors, and it's uh, in any of these ones will give, uh, give true. And this one is a false. So that's the only difference with this one. And now the use what you could do that's useful with this. Uh, well, uh, if you look at this, these two columns right here, this is just a random uh, column one, two, three, four. And column four is actually I just have it assign function. So sign of this column three, and then I have this total function right here. So this is this is a this is just the sum of this column. But now let's say we had this one is a not available Let's say this value is not available all of a sudden your total is not available but there's still but then that's some of this one you, if you scroll down here is 1.89 so we wanted to show up the sum and then skip this hashtag and a so how can we do that and basically yeah, and basically to do that we would have to use this is error function right there yeah, and before I get to that, you could also, let's say if you put in something like uh, a space or a, or a number right here, there you go, you're going to have a, a value error. So this is not, you can't put a sign of just a random text value right here. So, and to overcome this, you could use it in an if statement. Yeah, so if we just basically uh, use now the is error in an if statement, so we can just go is error in this case. So, so we, this is how we can overcome this total value here. So you can go is error and then question mark this one so if it does get an error right here in this calculation we could just go actually well first write the if statement if bracket so now if this is an error so we have it so if it's an error it, it automatically returns you don't need to set it equal to anything so if it's true it will basically let's just make it a uh, zero so it counts as zero or you can do a blank space so let's just go with zero and then otherwise uh, we'll just go click whatever this value uh, scroll here so we're just gonna be f11 so if there's an error make it zero if not f11 and so basically that's a uh, four scroll this formula down and there you go it's a zero for this error so all we're doing is modifying this calculation and then this now, now we could basically just scroll this to the right and then you go 1.89 that's the exact same uh, sum right here 1.89 where my mouse is yeah, so basically you can see that it works in this way right here. But if this was, let's say, 
hashtag and a and then instead of is error you used is error and scroll down as you can see this is an error so that's the only difference that I have there so I'll just uh, undo all those and leave it here well that's all for today hopefully you learned from uh, this uh, video and also this useful example on how to use it to basically sum up a column of values even if there's an error value in the column and uh, yeah, you could also uh, download this, this exact Excel file in the Dropbox link below and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.